Through this morning, we consider pets to be members of the family. Unfortunately, abusers use them to validate power and control over the family. And right now, many domestic violence shelters simply cannot accommodate pets. But the Capital Area Humane Society can help. And joining us today to talk more about it is Mary Heiser. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Now, before we talk about the Safe Haven program that you have, let's talk about Champagne, who you brought with you. <laughs> Champagne is a beautiful three-year-old terrier mix. She's a very sweet girl. Um, she wants to look all around the studio and see what's going on. She rides well in the car. She's housebroken and she'd make somebody a great pet. And what's her story? Um, and sadly, her owner passed away. So she and another dog in the home were brought to us for rehoming. Okay, and she seems like a sweet dog. So yes, she is. Hopefully we can find her a home soon. Now let's talk about the Safe Haven program. What exactly is it? It's an emergency sheltering program for pets from homes experiencing family violence. Frequently, someone will not leave an abuser because they can't take the pet with them, either to a friend or a relative or to a domestic violence shelter or a family shelter. And they also fear to leave the pet behind because a lot of times someone will say, well, you know, if you leave, you know, don't think I'll keep the dog. You know, I'll let the dog out or I will harm the animal or I will get rid of the pets. Um, it's frequently a control mechanism. So what we have is a safe haven program where you can give us temporary custody of your pets while you seek safety. And we will care for your pets, keep your pets safe, provide the medical care, all at no cost to you. And then once you've reestablished a new home, you come and reclaim custody of your pets. That's a great program. You say it's been around since 2006. It's been around since 2006, and sadly last year we ha uh, we had 56 pets in the program. Wow. And it's a, there's not a day that goes by that we don't have pets in the program. The average stay was 46 days last year. In 2012, the average stay was 50 days. 56 pets, that's just mind blowing to think that there's such a need like that. In your mind, how beneficial has this program been? It's been, it's been literally life saving to the people who have, who have used it. It's predominantly used by women, but we have had male clients as well. Um, domestic violence sadly doesn't really, you know, know a, a particular gender all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we've primarily cats and dogs, but we, we've had other animals as well. Okay, and this is funded through donations just like the rest of the capital. It's funded Humane through Society. donations and, and specific grant applications. We're always looking for support for this program. It's something that, that truly we hope that you'll never need and it's something that we wish we didn't have to have. But right now, it, it, research has shown that a lot of people has, hesitate to leave the home because of fear for the pets. Mm -hmm. And people who have entered shelters have stated that you know, the pets have been threatened. And we have, uh, sadly, cases where the pets have been harmed. Wow. Well, it's great that you offer that to the community. We hope that that continues and that you do get some donations for that. And before uh, we let you go, just one more time, how can we get Champagne adopted Champagne this weekend? Champagne would love to see you today from 12 to 5 or tomorrow from 12 to 5. We are open Monday, even though it's a holiday, from 2 to 7, like all the other weekdays, 2 to 7 p.m. All right, Mary, thanks for joining us this morning. And remember, if you miss our Pet of the Week segments, you can always watch previous segments online. Just go to 10tv.com pet.